Invasive species are a difficult challenge for many land managers. They cause a huge amount of damage and can really ruin a system. So with our management of invasive pigs at our park, um, we knew we wanted to use uh, ground hunting as a tool, um, but lead bullets will fragment when they hit flesh and uh, any animal that got into a carcass uh, is, is potentially going to have lead poisoning. When we decided to use uh, non-lead ammunition, um, we hadn't used it before, but we did know, you know that if you have two bullets, non-lead and lead, that are the same grain weight, the non-lead bullet is going to be longer than the lead bullet. That longer bullet is going to react differently to your barrel, it's going to react differently to your rifling, which means you're going to have different ballistics. Reducing the grain weight on a non-lead bullet got us similar ballistics to a higher grain weight lead bullet. You want to make sure you sight in your rifle with the non-lead ammunition. Um, it is going to shoot slightly different because it's a different kind of metal. So we found that uh, the tipped bullets in the non-lead, um, that that tip really helps to drive the initial expansion. At our park managing invasive pigs, um, we've used all non-light ammunition, um, shot hundreds of rounds, dropped hundreds of animals. Um, it's just as effective, um, and we have the added benefit of knowing that uh, there's no lead being left on the landscape. For us, a uh, simple adjustment of reducing our grain weight, um, ensuring that your rifle's sighted in with the non-lead uh, ammunition, um, and using the polymer tips made the change to non-lead really easy.